Hey there, I'm your host Lesawi, and in today's video, I will show you how to create a background video for your menu. So if I go and hit P, we can quit the game and we can go to our main menu. And over here, you'll see I have a video playing. And with all this said, let's begin. Open up your project and let's go to the content drawer. Now over here, you want to import your video. Mine's already imported and this is a MP4 file. So once you have it, great, then let's right click inside of our content drawer, go to media and select media player. Hit true and hit OK. And for the name, I'll call it something like MP underscore video. And if we go inside and double click on our video, this will link it. So let's save, exit. And now let's right click on our media texture, go to create material. And for the name, I'll leave it as it is. But for the RGB, we also want this to be connected to the emissive color. Once done, apply and save. Next, we want to go to the widget we want the video to be in. So for that, I will go to my main menu widget and we want to create an image. Since I have an image here, I'll delete it and I will create a new image and I will link it or rather put it under my canvas panel. And for the anchor, select full, set these values for right and bottom to be zero. And with this, if we hit under the brush, we can select our video. So if I search for video, we should have our material. And if you get this error, just click on it and it will fix itself. And for the size, I'll make it bigger since I have a taskbar on my video and I don't want it to be displayed. Once you're happy, simply compile and save. Next, let's go to the level in which our menu is located. For me, this will be my main menu level. So let's save everything go inside and over here, if we open the level blueprint, we can create a new variable, I'll call it video. And for the type, we want this to be a media player and we want to get the object reference. Now, if you compile, you'll be able to select your media player there and let's get this to open source, just like so. Select your file media source and then from here, let's do set looping and we can connect the return value up to here and simply connect this to your existing code. So what I have here is an event begin play and I simply display my menu. So if we drag it out and I connect it here, this should work perfectly for us. So let's do that here, this, that's already connected. So let's compile, save, and I forgot to connect that there. So now you can compile, save, and if we go to play, our video should be working for us. So guys, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.